Salutations, respected viewers. Behind me is the statue of Edith Cavell. I'm on Trafalgar Square in London. And there, as you can see, she was shot at dawn in October 1915. And a quotation from her last letter. Patriotism is not enough. I must have no hatred or bitterness for anyone. So who was Edith Cavell? If you're very observant, you might have figured out from her garment that she was a nurse. That's the sort of uniform nurses wore at the time of the First World War. Well, her father was a priest in the Church of England, which gave her special social status, I suppose turned even to more of a heroine. And uh, unusually from being a, from a woman from a very middle class family, she uh, went into nursing. I mean, uh, there, was, there was very little higher education for women in those days. There were a few women, her doctors, um, from the uh, 1860s, but very, very few indeed. Um, and uh, a married bourgeois woman would not work in those days. Often she would be expected to give up a job, she would be dismissed. Not with any acrimony, but say, well, you couldn't possibly hold down a career whilst you're looking after your husband and children. And children were definitely into the bargain. It, it wasn't as though there was a choice. But anyway, she chose not to wed and she pursued a nursing career well into middle age. So she was in Belgium at the time of the outbreak of the First World War. And the country fell under the occupation of the Second Reich, Germany. Um, but she uh, was not interned by the German authorities because she gave them her word of honour that she was a nurse who was there as a humanitarian and she would treat patients disinterestedly of whatever nationality. She wanted to have no part in the war, even indirectly. So she would just treat wounded, injured soldiers of any army. So the German authorities accepted her vow and allowed her to carry on. However, there were some British soldiers she was caring for and she helped organise their escape. Some of them escaped to the Netherlands, which is neutral, back to the United Kingdom, then back to France, back into the army and killing more German soldiers. So this was discovered by the German authorities and they said that's not on. You claim to be a neutral, but in fact you were a spy, you're wearing a civilian uniform and you were in effect fighting against us. Your actions led to more of our men being killed. And if you hadn't done that, the war might have ended sooner. Um, so she was sentenced to death um, and despite a plea for her life, she was executed by firing squad. The prison where she was killed uh, still stands um, and uh, she is by all accounts reputed to have met her end with immense valour. Uh, so Allied propaganda went into overdrive saying this is the most outrageous thing to do. You see the word humanity was written above her and then here we have, what is it? Uh, courage on the front it said for oh, sorry sacrifice said for king and country on the front um, and there was a cult of Edith Cavell in the 1920s not quite in the religious sense there's a hospital in Peterborough named after her girls schools had houses called Cavell look at the lion fortitude we say bravery in modern parlance that is either Edith Cavell a largely forgotten figure devotion so um, it was thought to be uh, a dreadful thing to do to deliberately kill a woman now uh, you could read Gordon Corrigan's book about the First World War, Mud, Blood, and Poppy, Poppycock, and so on. And um, it's true that the Kaiser authorised uh, many atrocities. This was not one of them. As Corrigan said, um, uh, murdered she was not. The Germans were quite within their rights to shoot her. Um, incidentally, when Countess Markovich uh, was found guilty of high treason and so on in 1916, after uh, leading a revolt in Dublin, well, not leading, but being one of the luminaries of it, she was sentenced to death, however, her death sentence was commuted, partly because it would seem decidedly hypocritical to shoot her when Cavell was killed and the Allies shrieked about that. Cases uh, are not too similar though, because Cavell never took up arms against anyone, but one could say that was more insidious. There was the dishonesty of not saying, yes, I am on the enemy side, I am working for them, if not actually fighting for them. So that is the uh, largely forgotten Edith Cavell.